You're carrying a monster load And you wonder how far you can go With every step on that road that you take Allah knows Allah knows No matter what inside or This video examines the relationships between community organizations and individual health. The project will focus on the organization Youth of Ummah, also known as the U program. When doing some background research on the topic of chronic stress and mental health, chronic stress and mental health are related by a direct proportion. One's mental state will be the need to fit in with peers or to exceed parental expectations. This can cause an unnecessary amount of stress to an individual. If part of a group, the individual may suffer a similar act of obedience to not let the group down and be part of a winning team. Stress comes and goes, but chronic is to have persistent stress at high levels over a long period of time. This may cause long-term health risks, primarily cardiac related. Thus, there is a stress test for cardiac screening to measure the amount of stress the heart is enduring. The Youth of Foma program also helps youth improve their faith-based relationship with them and the community. The youth are required to not only participate in playing basketball, but attending faith-based classes, do presentations, learn how to give back to the community, and show the society how a balanced Muslim identity is ideal for the youth to develop the relationship with God and also serve humanity at large. Throughout the video, you will see testimonials from the youth, pictures from our community projects, and interviews with those that the program helped. Youth testimonials. Okay, so the Youth of Ummah group has helped me out, like being a better person to help me out with my faith because at the time I had just started practicing, I wasn't like doing my daily prayers before this, like something big happened in my life and like I didn't know how to change my life around so I like knew Muslim brothers around my community and one of them invited me to come out to Iona. So I started coming to Iona and I felt like I was just part of the brothers and everyone was nice and everyone was friendly. It's like, it felt like home, like even when I was with my old friends, they didn't really feel like my real friends, but these ones like, I just met them and they felt like they were my real friends and like just everything just praying like listening to the speeches like making new friends like letting out stress by playing the playing in the football league and everything and I just feel like I'm contributing when I share stories with people and when I help them with their faith and they help me with my iman and everything basically that's how the league has helped me from them, especially on my language when I played ball. I used to always cuss, but now I tone it down. That helped me a lot. And just to help the youth, I'm more determined to help the youth. I'm at a, I'm at a position where I can do a lot to help the youth, and so I will. And I just want to thank Brother Omar and all the other people, Akram, everybody that's affiliated with this, to give me this opportunity to, to pass my knowledge and understand and make new friends. Assalamualaikum. And mom, I'm going to the league. I love you. <laughs> and I am on the Riz's team and I just want to say that you know the Iona's league has really helped me out because it helps me get my energy out like on Saturdays when like I'm stressed out in school and things like that it's really helped me out because I've made a lot of friends and whatnot so yeah how has it helped you out physically physically I've gotten more in shape because of it and I look forward to Saturdays and playing basketball because I can just you know get active a lot more when I'm not doing anything else on the weekend and how has it helped you with uh, meeting new people and helping around the community? Well, meeting new people because I get to play all these other teams, I get to socialize with them, you know, spend time with them, and especially on the community projects. And it's helped me out a lot socially, so now I'm more like, my self-esteem's up and everything like that, and it's really helped me out a lot. 
Would you come back next year? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna come back next year. All right, thanks, Ari. All right, um, hi, my name's Masu Beckrick, and uh, I'm on Richie's team, Red Team. Um, this made me a better person because on Thursdays we have fast to learn, and uh, I go there, and then we learn about um, companions and about God and stuff. Um, and at the first game, I was really shy, and then I, like, my captain told me so I could just loosen up, don't hesitate and stuff. And um, I just the second game, I really did good and stuff. Um, How has this helped you physically? Um, I got better. Uh, like. Just the first game. So I, you got better in basketball? Yeah. So in shooting or defense or how? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got better in shooting, uh, laying up stuff. Um, and how is this? How has this helped you manage your stress? I know you have school all week. So how do you handle this? Oh, well, uh, it's just this is Saturday, you know, Saturday night. So I could just do homework like on Friday or Sunday. Hi, I'm Osman, and I'm on a mom's team. Uh, well. Before this league, school used to be really tough for me, and uh, uh, I used to be really stressed out, but then when I, now I have something to look forward to, and this basketball, it lowers my stress, it uh, uh, makes me feel good, makes me give me something to look forward to, but uh, during the basketball games, there is stress uh, competitively, like uh, if you're down or something, if you're in like the fourth quarter or something, you got to perform better, uh, that makes you better in the games, but it also like wears down your body and stuff, so yeah. So how would you compare this uh, to uh, good stress and bad stress? What are some good stresses about this program and some bad stresses? Uh, some good stresses would be like, I'm kind of stressed all day, looking forward to the games and stuff, you know, meeting everyone. Uh, bad stress, I guess, would be to like, I don't know, make sure my jersey, like I have everything from my jerseys like ready to go and like my shoes are clean and stuff. Getting here, I use it on variety and stuff. That's good. So, uh, how do you? What do you think about the, this program? Would you be back next year? Yeah, I'm definitely coming back. This program is really fun. It gives me something to do over the weekend. Thank you. So, do you like coming uh, to the youth program on Saturdays? Yeah, I I love to come to the youth program, and I love Iuna and my friends are there. So you have a lot of fun. Yeah. You play basketball. Who's your favorite person at Iona? Uh, you. And who else? Say someone's name that you know. And who else? What about Omar? Yeah. And what about Shahir? Yeah, I like all of them. Well, and what do you think about the youth program? How has it uh, helped your stress management? Well, well, every weekend, every weekend after a stressful week from school, and I think, um, the, well, when I would play, come here, work out, play basketball, it really helps me as well. I'm not stressed out. And how has it helped you emotionally? Well, emo emotionally, yeah, it's, it's actually, I really, I really love this youth program. Just come hang out with, with, with my friends, with my teammates, and especially after we get a win, it just um, it, it just makes you helps you forget about everything. And what about the community projects, giving back to people? What do you think about those? Yeah, I love the uh, community project because um, we actually, well, me, all, all my teammates together, we get to help people, help others. And what about the free healthcare and the blood drive? Yeah, we also had a program with a free, a free blood drive, and we also gave clothes to the uh, to the needy during Christmas time. And uh... community projects. Hey everyone, I'm here with uh, Miss Oretta Hoy, and uh, she's a uh, community member uh, here on uh, Joseph Campo in Detroit. So, uh, Miss Hoy, um, what did you think about the free healthcare fair? Uh... Oh, very informative. And uh, did it benefit you? I mean, uh, are yeah. you, uh, how long have you been here? Uh, did this thing happen before? I've been here. Uh, I was here last year. I know they had something like this. Oh, last, last year. So, yeah, uh, over here, yeah. yeah, and hopefully uh, it benefits, right? Oh, yeah, I think so. Especially those people that know, don't know too much about things like that. Yeah, and um, what was the thing that benefited you the most uh, that you got checked? Oh, they're talking about my cholesterol, which I know, you know quite a bit about it, but yeah. they gave me some 
pretty good things that, you know, some things I didn't know about and stuff like hey that. Hey guys, I'm here with uh, Miss Jackson. She's one of the vital leaders of this uh, community here in Joseph Campo. Hi. Um, how did this benefit you? Uh, did you, were you impressed? Uh, what did you like about it? Well, first of all, I feel there's, it's a privilege to be here because of the fact that we have more people that is volunteering to do a lot of things for the needy people in this community. And allow me to uh, continue to go on and feel strength from this, that I feel that you guys are a very, very positive, uh, motivated example for the homeless, and I just thank God for you guys. And um, I heard something about uh, you helping out the homeless. Am I well, right? yes, I've been feeding the homeless people here for eight years. This will be my ninth year. In oh, wow. And it's a pleasure feeding the homeless people when you have compassion for people like you guys. Mm -hmm. So it is a pleasure feeding them. You get to know families. You uh, can pray for them as well, lead and guide them to positive places like church here at the community center. Keep our young people off the streets and keep them safe. Yeah, and uh, where is this uh, homeless? Where do you take care of the homeless? Well, I have my own project and I have my own nonprofit organization, which I was trained and my growth from that was from my home. I started there from the ground up out of the basement. So sometimes I have the people who come in my basement and they eat in my basement. It's preparation down there, cheers, tables, decoration, and I go from there. Okay, wow, that's, that's a really great way to get involved with the community. We do many community projects and events for the U program. As you saw, in the interviews before, we did a free healthcare fair and helped many people in the Metro Detroit area. Also, some of the pictures that you are seeing and will be seeing in this video are from us from other community projects such as soup kitchens, helping the elderly neighbors with their yard work, and renovating buildings around our area. Positive health effects of physical activities. There is an overwhelming amount of scientific evidence on the positive effects of sports and physical activity as part of a healthy lifestyle. The positive, direct effects of engaging in regular physical activity are particularly apparent in the prevention of several chronic diseases, including cardiovascular disease, diabetes, cancer, hypertension, obesity, depression, and osteoporosis. Young people can benefit from physical activity as it contributes to developing healthy bones, efficient heart and lung function as well as improved motor skills and cognitive function. Physical self-worth and physical self-perception including body image has been linked to improved self-esteem. Elements that may be determinants on health include nutrition, intensity and type of physical activity, appropriate footwear and climate change, clothing, injury, stress levels and sleep patterns. That is my background research on the topic of health and physical activity and discussing how the physical activity and sports aspects of the organization contributes to the physical health of the members of the U program. My name is Istiak and I'm going to talk about acute stress versus chronic stress. Well, acute stress is just everyday life stress that you face. It, uh, it doesn't really harm your body uh, as, as long as you don't do it too rapidly. And chronic stress is, a more, is more of a serious stress. If you suffer from chronic stress, you're more in risk of um, diabetes, high blood pressure, and sugar, and sugar, and sugar level, <laughs> high sugar level. And yeah, you can suffer from depression, and uh, you're more in risk of heart attack. Uh, it, it all depends on the age. If you are suffering from chronic stress from early age, you're, you're more likely to have a heart attack by suffer from a heart attack by, by the age of 55 to 60. Good stress versus bad stress. Good stress is also known as short-term stress where the buildup of emotions before a major event such as a job interview, speech in front of a crowd, or exam that might give you extra energy to perform at your best. Bad stress is long-term stress where you worry about family, financial issues, jobs, that can lead to a decline in energy and performance. Also, when it comes to physical versus emotional stress, physical stress is over a long period of time, the stress that prolonged and causes bodily damage such as asthma, body pain, headache, fatigue, diarrhea, constipation, and most common, high blood pressure, which increases chance for heart attack and a stroke. 
Emotional stress causes one to be moody, agitated, more impatient, lonely, and most common, depression. Cortisol is a fight or flight hormone that is released every time you're stressed by anything. Whether or not your stressor requires you to physically respond, cortisol is released, saturating your blood and tissues. For many people, cortisol courses through their bodies near constantly, never shutting down and dangerously affecting their bodies. Chronically, elevated cortisol makes you vulnerable to developing high blood pressure, diabetes, lower immunity and weight gain to name just a few disorders. Stress hormones including epinephrine, which gives you instant energy, provide the biochemical energy you need to fight or flee from your stressors. High levels of adrenaline increases blood sugar level and chances of acquiring diabetes. Cortisol helps replenish your body after the stress has passed and lasts longer in your system. Your neuroendocrine system doesn't know that you're not physically fighting or fleeing, so it still responds to stress with the hormonal signal to replenish nutritional stores, making you feel hungry. This can lead to weight gain and a ten tendency to store visceral fat around the midsection. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. There's many things I've learned through life lessons. Can't do things in access, that's the human essence. And for reference, let me tell you my preference. The weeks turn to days, days turn to hours, and hours turn to seconds. You don't wanna be stressed, that's the point that I'm stressing. You need a law, you don't need antidepressants. You don't wanna be crushing pills in the morning. That's how it feels, cause you feel ill when your brain's storming. I need to exercise before I'm performing. And I couldn't do without this league, without you and me. I don't know what to do, it's the youth of Oma, And I gotta do it, I gotta put up with all these other things. Like I'm doing sit-ups, it's gotta work out, and it travels from the word of mouth and I need to work it out like a bow flex physical and mental depressed and I don't know what to do when I'm stressed so I move on you gotta groove on a beat the dance but we ain't got instrumentals if you looking at the metal it's crazy like a mental asylum make them vibrate like a cell phone on silent and I don't know what to do when I'm walking with my shoes up on a court it's like a sport the way I play basketball and I had it all and I lost it all but I still got it all now and I gotta ball out because I'm stepping on a foul line if you try to foul mine I ain't taking two shots two pot I ain't rapping like that got a new happen right back you know what it is when I got it like a psych cap, it's like psychiatry You don't know what it is, nobody as fly as me But I still gotta put my wings down Cause I gotta be humble And every time that I fumble and I struggle I gotta get up like I was sitting in the huddle And I had a football plan When you do it with your football plans On the right spot And I get it like the mic stops I need light shots No, I need cameras flashing Everybody asking Chilling with my bros like I have no sisters Don't know what to do when they flash them pictures Pull out the shades, don't need those Looking at the sun rays Okay, my flow's running out But I don't go for many days if you liked our video and you'd like to come and relieve some of the stress, please join us in our weekly programs, Thursday's Fast and Learn program at 8 o'clock at Iona and the Basketball League from 5.30 to 9 o'clock on Saturdays. We also intend to start a youth room for the youth to come and enjoy on Friday nights. We're located at 12 Mile and Ryan. Email us at ummayouth at gmail.com for more information.